Hello there amazing folks and welcome to this new video on the best cloud projects for absolute beginners. This simplified video guide will take you through some of the most basic and yet most important projects you can practice and add in your portfolio if you are just starting on the journey to cloud computing. Stay tuned with us till the end and get one step ahead in cloud computing. Moving on to the top 10 cloud computing projects, we have divided this video into three parts. The first part is for beginners. Moving on to the first project for beginners, we have a cloud-based file storage. In this project, you will create a simple cloud-based file storage system similar to a Dropbox or a Google Drive. Users can upload, download and manage files stored in the cloud. The part to create this project will start by choosing a cloud storage service. Select a cloud storage service provider like AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage or Azure Blob Storage. The next step is creating an account. Sign up for an account with the chosen cloud provider if you don't already have one. The next step is to set up a bucket or a container. Create a storage bucket or container to store your files. The next step is to develop a web interface. Create a web-based interface for users to interact with your storage system. You can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this. The next step is to implement file upload and download. Add functionality for users to upload and download files to or from their storage bucket using the cloud provider's SDK or API. The next step is user authentication. Implement user authentication to secure access to files. You can use services like Firebase authentication or build one of your own. The next step is testing and deployment. Test your file storage system locally and once satisfied, deploy it to the cloud. Make it publicly accessible if needed. The key learning points of this project is you will learn the basics of cloud storage services, file uploading and downloading and user authentication. Moving on to project number two, we have a website hosting service. This project involves setting up an essential website on a cloud platform like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. You will deploy a static or dynamic website and make it accessible to users worldwide. Let's move on to the path to create this project. The first step is to select a cloud hosting service. Choose a cloud hosting platform like Amazon Web Services, Azure or Google Cloud. The next step is to design your website. Create the content and design for your website. You can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript for static websites or web frameworks for dynamic ones. Then register a domain name. Purchase a domain name from a domain registrar, for example GoDaddy, Namecheap, etc. The next step is to configure DNS. Configure the DNS setting to point to your cloud hosting server's IP address. The next step is to set up a virtual server. Create a virtual server instance on your chosen cloud platform. For example, AWS EC2, Azure VM and Google Compute Engine. The next step is to install web server software. Install and configure web server software like Apache on your virtual server. And the last step is to upload website files. Upload your website files to the server and then you are done with the project. The key learning points of this project, you will learn how to configure a web server, you will deploy web applications and manage domain names and finally you will ensure high availability. The next project we have for beginners is a cloud based calculator. Create a simple web based calculator application and deploy it on a cloud platform like Heroku. Users can perform basic calculations using this calculator. Let's talk about the path to create this project. You will start by selecting a cloud platform. Choose a cloud platform like Heroku, AWS or Azure for deployment. Then develop the calculator. Create a simple web based calculator. You can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript for this. Then set up a development environment. Install necessary development tools and libraries on your local machine. Then move ahead with version control. Use version control systems like Git to manage your project. Then create a cloud account, sign up for an account with your chosen cloud platform. Then comes the deployment part. Deploy your calculator application to the cloud platform of your choice. For Heroku, this might involve pushing your code to a Git repository. And then comes the testing part. Ensure that the calculator functions correctly on the cloud server. Let's talk about the key learning points of this project. You will gain experience in setting up cloud server environments, deploying web applications and understanding server client interactions. Moving on to intermediate level projects. These projects are for people with decent knowledge of cloud computing basics. The first project we have in this category is an IoT data analytics project. 
Build a system that collects data from IoT devices, sensors, smart devices, etc. and stores it in cloud databases, for example, AWS DynamoDB or Azure Cosmos database. Implement analytics to gain insights from the collected data. Let's talk about the path to create this project. The first step is IoT device setup. Set up IoT devices or sensors to collect data. Then choose a cloud database, select a cloud database service, for example, AWS Dynamo database, Azure Cosmos database for data storage. Then comes the data ingestion part. Write code to send data from IoT devices to the cloud database. Then comes data analytics. Implement data analytics tools or scripts to analyze the collected data. Then comes data visualization. Create visualizations to present insights from the data using tools like AWS QuickSight or data visualizations libraries. And then the last part is monitoring and scaling. Implement monitoring and scaling mechanisms to handle increased data volumes. So let's talk about the key learning points of this project. You will explore IoT data ingestion, cloud database management, data analytics and of course data visualization. Moving on to the next project, we have a video streaming service. So you will create a video streaming service where users can upload and stream videos from the cloud. Implement features like video encoding, content delivery and user authentication. Let's talk about the path to create this project. You will start by selecting cloud services. Choose cloud services for video storage, for example AWS S3. For encoding, you can choose AWS Elastic Transcoder and for content delivery, you can choose AWS CloudFront. The next step is to design the application. Plan the architecture of your video streaming platform, including user interfaces for uploading and streaming. The next step is user authentication. Implement user authentication using services like AWS Cognito. Then comes the video uploading part. Allow users to upload videos to the cloud storage. And then comes the video encoding. Implement video encoding to create different quality versions of uploaded videos. Then comes the content delivery. Use a content delivery network or CDN to distribute videos efficiently to the users. And the last step is testing and scalability. Test video streaming and ensure it scales to handle concurrent users and varying network conditions. Let's talk about the key learning points for this project. You will learn about video processing, content delivery networks and secure user access control. Moving on to the next project, we have cloud-based e-commerce website. Build an e-commerce platform hosted on cloud. Develop features like product listing, shopping carts and secure payment processing. Let's talk about the path to create this project. You will start by selecting cloud platform. Choose a cloud platform, for example, AWS or Azure to host your e-commerce application. Then comes the e-commerce framework. Choose an e-commerce framework, for example, WooCommerce or Shopify or build a custom solution. Then comes the product listings part. Add product listings and descriptions with images. Then comes the shopping cart. Implement a shopping cart functionality for users to add products. Then comes the secure payment processing. Set up secure payment processing using payment gateways like Stripe or PayPal. Then comes the user authentication part. Implement user authentication for customer accounts. And finally, the testing and security. Thoroughly test your e-commerce website, ensuring it's secure and capable of handling transactions. What are the key points of this project? You will gain experience in building scalable web applications, handling online transactions securely and managing customer data. Talking about advanced level cloud computing projects, for advanced level cloud computing projects, you should master cloud infrastructure and cloud services. The first advanced level project we have for today is machine learning with cloud. Develop a machine learning model and deploy it on a cloud server for scalable processing. This project involves working with large data sets and real-time data analysis. The first step is machine learning model. Develop a machine learning model using libraries like TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn. Then comes the data preparation part. Prepare and clean the data for training and testing. Then choose a cloud machine learning service. Select a cloud machine learning service, for example, AWS SageMaker, Google AI Platform, and etc. Then comes the model deployment part. Deploy a machine learning model on the cloud platform. And finally, the scalability. Ensure the model can handle real-time predictions and scale as needed. Let's talk about the key learning points of this project. You will delve into machine learning, cloud-based data processing, and model deployment. The next project we have in this list is the cloud-based virtual desktop. 
create a system that allows users to access virtualized desktop environments hosted on the cloud. This project focuses on remote desktop solutions. Talking about the path to create this project, you should start by selecting cloud service. Choose a cloud service for virtual desktop. For example, Amazon Workspace, Windows Virtual Desktop or Azure. Then comes the configuration part. Configure virtual desktop instances with desired specifications. User management. Create and manage user accounts for accessing virtual desktops. Security. Implement security measures for data protection during remote desktop access. Then comes the access control part. Set up access control policies to restrict user permissions. And lastly, testing. Test the remote desktop access from different devices and locations. Talking about the key learning points of this project, you'll learn about virtualization, remote desktop technologies and user management in a cloud-based context. Moving on to the third advanced level cloud project, we have a cloud gaming service. Build a cloud-based gaming service similar to Google Stadia. This project involves GPU virtualization, low latency streaming and multiplayer game server management. Talking about the path to create this project, you should start by selecting cloud infrastructure. Choose a cloud infrastructure. You can either choose AWS or Azure for hosting game servers. Then comes the game server setup. Set up game servers for hosting games. Then comes the low latency streaming. Implement low latency streaming technologies for gameplay. Then comes the multiplayer support. Add multiplayer support for users to play together. Then comes the user management. Create user accounts and manage players' profiles. And finally comes load balancing. Implement load balancing to handle increased player loads. Talking about the key learning points of this project, you will explore cloud-based gaming infrastructure, server management, and real-time multiplayer networking. Moving on to the last cloud computing project, we have a healthcare data management system. Develop a cloud-based system for storing and managing healthcare-related data such as patient records. Ensure compliance with healthcare industry standards, for example, HIPAA. Talking about the path to create this project, you should start by ensuring compliance with healthcare industry standards. HIPAA compliance. Understand and adhere to HIPAA compliance regulations. Cloud platform selection. Choose a HIPAA compliant cloud platform, for example, AWS Healthcare APIs and Azure for healthcare. Then comes the data storage part. Create a secure cloud-based data storage system for healthcare records. Then comes the access control. Implement strict access controls and encryption for data security. Then comes the audit trials. Maintain audit trials for data access and modifications. And then at last comes the user training. Ensure staff are trained on HIPAA compliance and data handling protocols. Talking about the key learning points of this project, you will gain expertise in cloud security, data privacy and compliance while addressing real-world healthcare data challenges. These projects provide a progressive learning path allowing individuals to start with basic cloud concepts and gradually advance to more complex and impactful cloud computing applications. Each project offers valuable experience and skills that can be applied to real-life scenarios and career development in the cloud computing field. So that's a wrap on this video on top 10 cloud computing projects for 2024. If you feel that we have missed out on any particular project or if you have any doubt related to any of the topics we have covered in this video, then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and a team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.